Before we call our molding masterpiece complete, there's just a little bit of fine tuning to take care of. Here are the five top tips to finish off your project. If you use caulk to fill your nail holes, be aware that it shrinks as it dries and leaves a small dimple. This will look fine on taller ceilings, but on an eight foot ceiling, it will look better if we use a lightweight spackling to fill the holes. Once the spackling dries, lightly sand and the nail hole vanishes. Don't worry about gaps in the molding. They will completely disappear after you do your finish work. It's best to fill gaps with caulking. Your walls will shift slightly between seasons and if you use spackling for your joints, you might notice a cracking with time. The caulking has enough flexibility for minor shifting and won't crack. Variations with inside corners are easy to hide. Outside corners require a bit more work. For minor variations, you can use sandpaper to smooth out any rough edges. If you have a large variation and you're using a polyurethane molding, you can actually trim the profile to fit using a utility knife. Caulking seams takes a little bit of practice. The most important thing to remember is to cut your tube at about a 30 degree angle. This allows the tip of the tube to force the caulking in the seam as you go along. And keep a damp rag with you to help clean up any excess caulk. It's important to keep constant pressure as you run your caulk along the lines. As your tube empties, you can just fold it over to keep that constant pressure you're looking for. Now before you do any painting, make sure your caulking is good and dry. Then use painter's tape to mask off your walls and ceilings, and then it is time to paint. Finally, and most importantly, when you're all done, you get to reveal your masterpiece.